Uh, let us get into the next group of fungi which is known as ascomycete. So, what is the common name for ascomycete? Just like zygomycete is called conjugation fungi or lower fungi. So, uh, the ascomycetes are also known as sac fungi, right. So, sac fungi or cup fungi because their fruiting body look like cups or sacs, okay. So, the fruiting body of the sac fungi is known as ascocarp. This is a fruiting body. On this ascocarp, lot of sacs are found like this, which are known as as. Each one is called ascus or as uh, asci, right? So what happens is the ascus uh, inside the ascus only the the nuclei will unite and form the zygote, which will undergo uh, meiosis to produce ascospores. If you ask me how many ascospores are produced? 8 ascospores are produced per assay that means it undergoes one meiosis and followed by one mitosis. So, 8 ascospores are produced inside each ascus and many ascus, many asci are found on the ascocarp. So, ascocarp is a fruiting body which looks like a cup or sometimes you know it looks like a closed flask. So, they have different shapes. Uh, and let us, uh, the examples of ascomycetes include, uh, you know, something like uh, Neurospora. Neurospora is one of the most important organism when it comes to genetics. So, it was used a lot in the genetic experiment. Sometimes they call it as Drosophila of uh, plant kingdom is also Neurospora because they experimented a lot with Neurospora. And apart from that, you also have examples like uh, Pencilium. I am sure you would have heard about Pencilium which produced that uh, antibiotic called Pencilin which is very effective against gram positive bacteria. Then you also uh, have uh, Aspergillus and apart from all these there are certain fungi which are edible which are uh, belonging to this ascomycetes they are actually known as truffles. Truffles and also known as morsels. So, these are uh, the edible fungi. In fact, truffles grow underground. You know, in western countries, what they do is to find out these truffles, which are considered as delicacies. You know, uh, the people. Uh, spend a lot of money to buy these kind of uh, uh, you know uh, truffles uh, because they grow underground and the only way you can actually find out whether they are mature or not where they are growing the dogs will be trained they will know the flavor of that mature uh, uh, truffle and they will actually go and find out where that location is then they dig that location and take out these uh, truffles and they use it to make lot of delicacies right. So, truffles are very expensive so they belong to uh, ASCO. Mycetes. Now, let us look at the life cycle of ascomycete fungus. How does it happen? Ascomycete uh, actually uh, reproduce sexually as well as asexually. So, let us look at asexual reproduction. If you look at the black ones there, they are the one which are truffles, right, black in color. So, now let us look at the life cycle of uh, ascomycete. How does the life cycle of ascomycete happen? As I said, it has both sexual phase as well as asexual phase. The asexual phase of uh, ascomycete, they produce a different kind of spores which are known as conidia. So, conidia are the asexual spores of ascomycete. So, what is the difference between a sporangiospore and a conidiospore? So, sporangiospores which we discussed in the last uh, class, right, zygomycete. So, they are produced inside sporangium, but unlike conidia, conidia are not produced inside sporangium, they are produced outside, they are exogenous. They are call it as, the origin is called as exogenous in origin, which means if the hypha is there, so the tip of the hypha bulges and keeps dividing and producing this conidia. So, these, these are each one is a conidium or conidiospore. So, whenever you know they get dispersed through wind and when they fall on the suitable substratum, they will divide and they start growing the hyphae, correct. Uh, and other feature of ascomycete is there uh, uh, you know they have the hyphae which are septate unlike zygomycete, so they have cross walls. So, what happens during sexual reproduction? Uh, as you see here, 
during the sexual reproduction uh, you know plus strain and the minus strain one of the strain will produce uh, ascogonium you can see the club shaped structure called ascogonium the other one produces another uh, bulge known as antheridium so both uh, actually have multinucleate so what happens is this uh, ascogonium has a hook which is known as trichogyne you can see that clearly there so through the trichogyne it joins the antheridium because of which the nuclei start migrating from the antheridium into the ascogonium right they don't unite which means only plasmogamy has happened karyogamy has not happened so the uh, you can see the, the ones which are in red in color they belong to antheridium the ones which are blue in color they belong to ascogonium so they come in once they move into ascogonium ascogonium now starts producing hyphae right so in the hyphae this nuclei migrate so each hyphae will now have uh, two nuclei one belong to uh, you know uh, ascogonium one belonging to antheridium so the two nuclei will be there and then a cross walls will be formed so this this kind of mycelium now is known as dikaryotic mycelium dikaryotic means what it has two nuclei as you can see here it has two nuclei and these hyphae now are dikaryotic they grow and then uh, at one point you know what happens one of the cell of this uh, uh, hyphae which is or this uh, dikaryotic mycelium it will start producing uh, a uh, elongated sac like structure which is known as ascus okay inside the ascus you can see there that there is a bulge where the two nuclei have united and then it formed a zygote now that particular cell will grow bigger in size because the zygote nucleus now undergoes meiosis to produce four nuclei and later uh, it undergoes one more mitosis to produce eight nuclei so all the eight nuclei become eight ascospores so the meiosis happened after the formation of the zygote which happens in the ascus right so ascus produces ascospores so this ascus uh, uh, these asci or this plural you know asci they are all found in that cup shaped structure which you can see at the top so that is known as ascocarp so inside the ascocarp you can see linearly arranged asci each ascus has eight ascospores so what happens the asci germinate and ascospores get liberated and on germination they will again produce monokaryotic hyphae which will form a new fungus so this is the life cycle of uh, ascomycetes so the important things you need to understand here is the production of eight ascospores is very important and the fruiting body is called ascocarp and uh, the as the ascospores are produced only in a sac like structure called ascus right so uh, and ascus ascus is produced by a dikaryotic mycelium so these are some of the things which you need to remember in ascomycetes